We can let this week pass us by without diving into the history of an iconic trend that we all know and love. This one isn't on our face, but let us point out some fun facts about the history of nail polish and nails in this really awesome beauty backgrounder. Long before gel manicures and acrylics, warriors in ancient Babylonia would groom and decorate their nails before entering battle in 3200 BC. The warriors painted their nails black with coal and tinted their lips to match. In 1878, the first nail salon was opened by Mary E. Cobb in New York City. Mary went on to invent the emery board and expanded her nail salon business across the U.S. and produced her own line of cosmetics and nail care products, all while being a single mother. We bow down to this nail maven. The invention of the modern day liquid polish is thanks in part to the boom of the automobile industry at the turn of the 20th century. Makeup artist Michelle Menard created a glossy nail lacquer that mimicked the shine on cars and would eventually help launch the brand Revlon to fame and prominence. Acrylic nails were invented by a dentist named Frederick Slack in 1957. He broke a nail at work and used aluminum foil and dental acrylic to fix it. His faux nail looked so real that he eventually patented his invention. Decorating our nails has been a source of expression and beauty for more than 5,000 years. Today, we see all kinds of amazing and intricate nail art. We love our long acrylic press-on nails and getting to paint with all the colors we can imagine, thanks to the ancient Babylonians who painted the way for all of us. Wasn't that fascinating? We love our beauty backgrounders around here, but this one really felt extra informative. And before we start on decorating our nails, I want to just show some love uh, to a product that I came across recently. It's the Bellasonic Electric Nail File, and it's sold on QVC. It has all these different attachments, so you can file, you can buff. Here's the even cooler part. You can put the one and do your heel. I mean, this little thing does everything. Um, and it's sold on QVC, and it's definitely a very unique tool that I've come across. Okay, now it is so important to give yourself a little TLC and pampering at home when you can, um, but I will say I just got to paint my nails and it boosted my mood like nobody's business. And here to help us with some nail polish tricks is friend of the show and editor-in-chief of Allure Magazine, The Beauty Bible, it's Michelle Lee. Hi, everyone. Hey, crew. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. I feel like I have to try that tool. It just does it all. I love it. Um, okay. Now, you have a nail design um, that we can all do at home. Is this true? I do. So I'm going to show everyone how to do one of my favorite favorite nail hacks. Um, so Drew, I don't know if you have any of these hole punch stickers at home, but these are for anyone who uses a binder. Typically we'd have these like hole reinforcement stickers around. They're super cheap at just like office supply stores. Okay. Are we ready, Drew? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take scissors and we're going to snip one side of these towards the center of the hole. So what that's going to do is it's just going to open up that circle so that then when we position it on our hands, that's gonna be great. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna create this little half moon shape at the bottom, and that's gonna create negative space at the bottom. So I'm gonna position the little sticker right in the center. Okay, so the other trick that I learned from some of my nail artist friends is that you never shake a bottle of polish. What you wanna do instead, because if you shake it, you're gonna get bubbles. So what you do is you roll it, in your hands like this. Michelle, and that's the way that you shake a bottle. I've never heard that. Yep. Yeah, I feel like I shake everything. Oh, see, there I go. <laughs> okay, so what you do is you're gonna put the nail polish um, on anything above that sticker. And then you just want to, after it's dried a little bit, you just peel off that sticker. And then it reveals this little half moon shape. 
Oh, and God. so, you know, sometimes the, the line there is not going to be fantastic and clean. And what I like to do also is you can just take a little makeup brush and you can just dip that into some nail polish remover. And then you can just clean up any of that area. And it's just a really easy thing to do. You have no idea the hot mess I have made. Michelle! <laughs> okay, well, Michelle. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you're gonna have to sell this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, oh, darn it. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, I, Michelle, this is ridiculous. Um, I just spilled <laughs> the nail polish remover all over the desk. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking to remove the paint off your desk, <laughs> follow me. And if you're looking for the most beautiful nail art, there really is. You have to check out Michelle's Instagram. Don't follow me. <laughs> and um, I can't wait till our next adventure, Michelle. You're the best.